Hello friends and family and welcome to the Monday edition of the Crippling Anxiety Meditation Fireside Chat. For those of you who are friends of friends, uh, just a quick reminder that this is not meditation instruction and I am not a meditation teacher. This is just a conversation about meditation. Today I wanted to discuss headspace again. Uh, a friend uh, spoke to me about her use of Headspace um, recently and she sounded a little bit apologetic and I wanted to explain that I don't think that there's anything wrong with using Headspace. I think that any app can be a useful starting point for getting yourself to meditate on a regular basis and that in particular right now while we are experiencing a difficult and stressful time, all of us, to varying degrees, uh, we can all find tools that help us get through this. And if that tool happens to be Headspace, or if it happens to be Calm, or any other meditation app or meditation instruction, I encourage you to stick with what works for you. Um, I advocate for um, simple Anapan meditation instructions as a starting point. Um, but that need not be the starting point for everybody. Um, I think it is important to frame your meditation practice in terms of what you can do entirely on your own, because then you can use it anytime, anywhere. Um, there is a certain, there's a measure of dependency. Uh, if you're using an app and then you need the app to meditate, then it becomes difficult if you want to meditate and you don't have your phone with you or your battery is dead um, or if you're lying in bed awake and you don't want to reach over and turn your phone on so that you can turn on your meditation app and things like that. Um, but there's no harm in using a meditation app or other tool to get to that point where you can meditate entirely on your own. Um, I would encourage you to compare and contrast these tools so you can uh, take a look at the Anapan meditation instructions. Um, I'll include links to the how to install um, for those at the end of this video. And you can see uh, how you respond differently to these different meditation instructions. Um, more contemporary meditation instruction like Headspace tends to provide a little more external input. So there's a little more guidance and there is a little more variety and a bit more color, um, maybe to keep you engaged and that's okay. Uh, you will find that the um, Dhamma.org app and the Anapan meditation instructions are uh, very, very simple. <laughs> <laughs> there is only one 10 minute recording uh, and a 15 minute introduction and, and that's it. Uh, there are not a variety of recordings to listen to. Um, there are not different kinds of instructions. The instructions are always the same um, and you will hear the same or very similar instructions um, for the first three days if you take a Vipassana course. Um, so it's understandable that not everyone wants to begin with that um, and you need not. So I would encourage you to continue to work with whatever tools you have available and which tools you have found to be most useful for you um, and, uh, and explore other tools as you find that you have the, the space and time to do so. I hope you're all taking good care of yourselves your family, your friends, your friends of friends, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Goodbye.